Hello everyone, welcome back to American Textbook Reading. I'm Brian Stewart. We are on Lesson 14, Our Resources. And there are many types of resources. In this unit, you will discover what natural resources are. So, of course, our first word should be, what are natural resources, right? What are natural resources? Well, it's really two parts we have to think about, right? Natural. Natural things that come from nature. If they come from nature, they are natural. Then we have resource. A resource is something that we use. So we put these two words together and we have natural resource. It comes from nature and we use it. So it is a natural resource. And there are many types of natural resources. In fact, we have a video showing many, many different types of natural resources that you can see. Here is one very, very important natural, natural resource, and that's oil, right? Um, but we can see many other types of natural resources too. Sunlight is a natural resource. We use that as solar energy. So also wind energy. We uh, use trees for uh, wood to get wood from. So there are many, many different types of natural resources that we get from nature. Let's look uh, at what we should do with these things. Now, when we talk about natural resources, we have to understand that in some cases, there are not an infinite amount of resources. That means there's not an unlimited supply. We can't use the natural resources very greedily. We can't be greedy. We have to be careful how we use some natural resources like water or wood or even land, uh, the air. We have to be careful how we use these things or what we put into those places. We have to think about the three R's. The first R is reduce. Reduce means to use less of something. So our first R is reduce. That means don't waste things, right? Basically, you could say don't waste our resources. Don't waste things. Don't waste resources. If you're not using the water the whole time you're washing your hands, right? Get your hands wet, turn off the water. Wash your hands, turn the water back on, and then rinse them. Don't waste water. Don't waste other things. Reduce the amount that you use. Only use what you need. Don't waste. The other R is reuse. Reuse. If we can use something again, that's better than getting a new thing and using it because that's kind of wasting too, isn't it? Reuse means to use again. Re sometimes means again. Not always, but sometimes it means to do something again. So use again. Use again. To use something again. So if you have a jar, right, you've used it as a, a packaging for your jam or your jellies or, or something that was in the jar, maybe instead of throwing away the jar and buying a vase, use the jar as a vase and grow a plant from it. That's a good idea to reuse something. Our third R is recycle. So we had reduce, reuse, recycle. Those are the three R's that are very, oops, that's an apostrophe. The three R's that are very important to helping save our environment and making the earth a better place for all of us to live in. Concentrate on the three R's. The third R is recycle. Re, in this case, means again, too, because you're cycling something again. You're making something new from something old. You're throwing away your old plastic bottles in a bin. They will go back to the factory. They will be broken down and made into something new. It's kind of a cycle for making new products. So you're using it again. So remember the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Those things are very important to help protect our environment and make our world a cleaner and healthier place to live. And of course, it means we will have more natural resources to use for a longer time. We won't waste these things. Okay, well, let's talk about what are some types of natural resources. Paper 
is a resource, right? It's a material that is used for making books and papers. Of course, paper really isn't a natural resource. Wood is a natural resource, but we make paper from wood. So paper, of course, is a material. We use it for newspapers, that's very common, and we also use it to, for books. Now, when you think about it, newspapers does seem kind of wasteful, doesn't it? Because we only read the newspaper one day, and then we throw it away. So it's important to reuse or recycle newspapers. When you're through with the newspaper, you can use it for some other purpose, maybe as wrapping paper, uh, maybe as insulation in something, or maybe you want to wallpaper a room with it. That would be a nice decoration. But, or you could recycle it, gather it together. Instead of throwing it together with your other garbage, put it in a bin so that it's taken back to a factory where they can make new paper from the old paper. So that's very important. It's very important to use paper wisely. Also, we have metal. Metal is not really a natural resource. Uh, we get it from nature. We get it from ore. We melt it down and we make metal from it. Metal is a hard and shiny material found in nature. The main thing about metal is that it's hard. It's tough, right? So if we put something in a metal canister, it protects whatever we have inside. Uh, that's very important. It's hard and it's shiny. That's just another quality of the metal. But we use metal for many things, especially tuna cans, right? Soda pop cans and other cans that we store or sell things in like coffee, ground coffee, stuff like that. But metal is a very good uh, uh, thing that we use in order to package food and to contain many types of things. Okay, another thing is glass. We can see many examples of using glass. Glass is a material that is used for making windows, bottles, and cups. And of course with glass, glass is very hard and it lasts for a long time. We have to be careful with it, right? If we drop it, psh, it'll shatter and that's very dangerous. Don't pick up that glass. Gl glass that has just been broken can be very, very sharp. So be very careful with glass. But glass can last for a long time, which means if you use something, you can use it again and again and again, right? If you have an old wine bottle, you can store water in it, right? And use it to con for water, put it in your refrigerator. It, the glass makes it nice and cool. It stays cool in a glass container. So you can reuse glass. Of course, you can also recycle glass. By the way, it's an interesting fact. Glass, most of glass is made from sand. If sand is heated up really, really hot, then it makes forms glass. Sometimes lightning psh, will come down and hit a beach or a desert where there's just sand and it will turn the sand from that heat. You'll see pieces of glass or it'll turn into glass on the sand. So sand, uh, the, the thing in sand is used to make glass. It's a very interesting uh, fact about glass. But glass comes from a natural resource, sand. Okay, also we have plastic. What does plastic come from? How do we make plastic? Well, plastic is made from oil. We use oil to make plastic. Um, plastic, of course, is a light and strong material made by people. And of course, plastic is very, very useful. Uh, it's uh, easier to transport than glass because we don't have to worry. If we drop it, it won't break like glass. It's lighter than metal but it can be very strong like metal too. So plastic is a very uh, important invention, a very important discovery. Of course, it is made from oil and it's a certain type of uh, uh, process that we use to make plastic. But as you can see, plastic is used for so many things, from water bottles to toys to chairs to all sorts of things that you can find in your home, in your car, in your school. We use plastic for a wide, wide variety of things. But again, we shouldn't waste plastic. We should reuse it, we should recycle it, and we should reduce the amount of plastic that we use. Okay, so these are all natural resources. These are natural resources that we use to make other things. For example, we have metal. Of course, we can find metal in the ground, in nature, but we kind of modify it a little bit. We change it a little bit to make it pure and to make certain products from it, like nails. So natural resources could be metal. 
Another important natural resource is water. If you think about it, water comes from nature. It's very important for us to live. We cannot live without water. We need water to drink. We need water to grow our crops. So water is a very important natural resource. We should keep it clean, don't waste it, and if we can, reuse it, recycle it. Air. Air, of course, is a natural resource. We use it. I'm using it right now, right? We all use air. So air is very important that we keep the air clean. It's a natural resource. Sunlight, of course, we all need sunlight uh, to be happy and healthy. If we live underground in the dark without sunlight all the time, we get unhealthy. We don't have, we aren't very happy. So stop playing video games all day long. Take some time, go outside and enjoy the sunlight, right? In fact, sunlight gives you some vitamins through your skin. It's good for you and it keeps you healthy. But don't get too much sunlight because that could be dangerous. But sunlight is another important natural resource. Nowadays, we also use it for energy with solar panels. Another important resource is oil. I just said before that we use oil to make plastic and plastic is so important. We use so many things using plastic. Even these tools I'm using are made from plastic. So oil, of course, is also the thing that we use to uh, make gasoline from, which powers our cars and our trains and our planes and many boats. Uh, so it's very important for transportation. And this is an oil rig. Uh, this is an oil uh, pumping device. Basically, it's pumping oil and it just, you don't need to have anybody here. Of course, people need to come here, put it in, and sometimes they come back and make sure it's working okay and that you maintain it, but you don't have to have anybody there. It just keeps pumping automatically 24 hours a day, seven days a week, until all the oil underground is out. And of course, that's a very expensive natural resource. Okay, and that brings us back to our uh, chart and our last natural resource, which is tree or trees. What do we use trees for? We use trees to make wood. And as we saw before, wood is used to make paper. But of course, we use wood for many other things. It's very nice to make furniture, desks, chairs, tables from wood. We use wood to make homes. Wood is a very nice uh, material to make things from because it gives us a good feeling when we see it, when we touch it, and when we, uh, when we use it. So it's a, it's a nice natural resource. It is something that is renewed. We can plant more trees to make more wood, but we have to be careful not to cut down all the trees at the same time, right? We have to be careful about which trees we cut and make sure we grow new trees so that there's more wood in the future. Anyway, these are all natural resources. It's very important. These are all very important to our lives. We have to use them carefully. Remember the three R's with natural resources. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. And that way, we'll make sure we have enough natural resources for a long time in the future. Okay, let's go to our word matching exercise. Here we have our words and we have the definitions that we need to match them with. Our words are, or phrases, natural resource, right? That's one word. Natural resource, natural resource. I'm sorry, it's not one word, but it's two words together. We don't separate them here. Natural resource, it's one idea. Reduce, reduce. Reuse, reuse. Uh -huh. Recycle, recycle. Those are our three R's, one two, three. Remember those, very important. Paper and metal, paper and metal. Now let's match these to the definitions. To use something again. Remember I told you again, sometimes we use R-E to mean again. We're using something again, reuse. So that is the answer. Reuse, we use it again. Number two, to use less of something. We use less of something. So we're not going to use a lot of something. We're going to use less of something. We're not going to waste it. We're going to reduce. In this case, re doesn't mean again. It just means, you know, reduce, reduction, uh, to make something smaller, to not use uh, as much, to reduce the amount of, to make the amount of smaller in this case. Three, to make something new, 
from something old. So it's like you're repeating the cycle, right? You're putting something back in the cycle of production. You're taking an old thing, putting it back to the beginning of the cycle to make something new. What are you doing? You are recycling it because you're putting it back again into the cycle. Recycle. Those are our three R's. Reuse, reduce, recycle. Okay, let's move on to number four. Things that come from nature. They come from nature. They come from nature, people use them. They're, they come from nature, so they're natural. People use them, so it's a resource. We say it's a natural resource. So it comes from nature, it's natural. If you use it, it's a resource. It's a natural resource. Okay, five. A material that is used for making books and newspapers. Books and newspapers. Of course, our answer is contained in the definition. It is, of course, paper. Paper. Newspapers, right? The papers that the news is printed on. Of course, books use papers as well, or paper as well. That's the material that we use to make these things. Six. A hard and shiny material found in nature. So if you go looking around, you can find uh, this type of material that's in, found in nature, it's metal. Of course, it's not really always sometimes shiny. Like for example, if you look at iron, iron isn't shiny, but it's a metal, but we can change iron. We can do certain things to iron to make it shiny, turn it into steel, which is a hard and shiny material that we get from nature. But gold is a hard and shiny material we find in nature. That's metal. So is silver and copper and things like that. Okay, so these are our words and our definitions. Let's move on to our chart. A chart is, remember I talked to you about the trees and I mentioned that trees are an important natural resource. It's one of the last things we looked at on the chart. And I talked about we make paper from it, we make furniture from it, we can also use wood to make houses. Here are four things that we use wood for in the same idea, right? Things from trees, things we make from trees, paper, right? And this isn't the paper that you write on or that's in your notebook. This is paper that we use to clean things with. So this is paper towel right here, this large one. We call that a paper towel, a paper towel, because it's like a towel. You guys know what a towel is. After you take a bath or a shower, you have a big piece of cloth that you dry your body with. That's a towel. Well, in the kitchen, if you spill milk or you spill a drink, you can use a paper towel to clean that up. Okay, so that would be a paper towel. This is not a paper towel. That's a smaller roll. Where do you find it? In the bathroom next to the toilet. We call that toilet paper. Toilet paper. Uh, and we use that for something else, right? <laughs> What do we use it for? We use it to clean ourselves after we've gone to the bathroom. That's the best way to describe that. But two main types of paper that we use in our homes to clean up messes or to make things clean. Okay, paper towel or toilet paper. Uh, that, so, some types of paper. Of course, we can also find paper in books. That's a little bit different. It's heavier, it's thicker, and we can write on it. We can find paper in books and notebooks, newspapers, things like that. Furniture. A lot of types of furniture are made from wood. By the way, do not say furnitures. No. Furniture is non-count, right? If there's a desk, a chair, a table, uh, we call that furniture. We don't call it furnitures, undale, right? Don't say that. It's furniture. Uh, if you have many pieces of furniture, we still say it's furniture. So you have a desk, you have a chair, you have a uh, a bed, you have a couch, that's all furniture. Many pieces of furniture are made with wood. And you can see wood is a very uh, old fashioned, kind of nice, warm feeling to wood. So wood is a very good uh, material to make furniture from because we get a nice warm feeling when we look at the wood in the furniture and it's very useful. Also fruit, we get fruit from trees. We didn't talk about that before, but that's an important natural resource. It's food. We use it, right? It comes from nature. Many types of fruit that we get from trees, right? Apple trees, cherry trees, plum trees, orange trees. All of these types of trees give us fruit. And of course, as I mentioned before, we can build houses with wood. 
Of course, there's many things we can choose from to make houses. Most common probably is concrete, right? That's kind of a stone. But a, a house made of wood, again, it has a nice warm feeling, right? It's like that furniture. When we look at it, we feel, ah, oh, this is good. This is high quality. This is very nice, right? We get a warm, old-fashioned feeling in a wooden house. And some houses are made entirely of wood. But they are a little bit dangerous because wooden houses can burn. You have to be careful with fire in a wooden house. Okay, let's move on. Let's complete the sentence to best describe the pictures. So we have many different pictures here, and we see our sentence. We use beep in many different ways. What are we using? We're using water here. We're using water to continue to live. Our bodies need water in order to function, to survive. So we use water there. We use wood as furniture, right, to make furniture and many things from wood. And we use oil to make gasoline. We put gasoline into our car. It makes our car go. All of these things are found in nature. We use them. So they're from nature and we use them. So we use natural resources in many different ways. Okay, so we can see how these are just three examples of the many, many, many ways that we use natural resources in our lives. Okay, we've come to our true-false questions. Number one, two, and three. Let's circle T for true and F for false. Number one, reuse means to use something again. So again, sometimes we say re, and we have use means to use. That true? Yeah, reuse means to use something again. That is true. Number two, recycle means to make something old from something new. Sounds good, right? That is not true. That's false because think about it. Old, new. You want to make something old? You don't want to make something old. You want to make something new. If you make it, it's new. It's not old. So these th two words have to be switched, right? We have to switch them. Recycle means to make something new from something old. They're trying to trick you there, right? They just switch those two words around. But it doesn't make sense because you can't make something old. You can make something new from something that is old. Okay. Number three, metal is a hard and shiny material found in nature. So metal is hard and it's shiny. It's a material found in nature. For example, gold and silver and copper, right? It's hard and shiny. We can find it in nature. That is true, okay? Of course, some metal isn't always shiny. Like, I, for example, I told you iron. We need to change iron to make steel, which is a hard and shiny metal. But, you know, uh, we do find those ores in nature. We find, uh, we get those metals from the ground. Okay, well, that wraps it up for the vocabulary section here. Let's take a short break. We'll come back in a little bit and go over the reading section together. So don't go away. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Let's go over the reading passage together. Now, this is an interesting organization here. Instead of starting off with the main idea, we start off with an example. We use trees and water every day. So we use trees and water every day. Trees and water are examples of something. What? We have to read on to find out. They come from nature. Things that come from nature that we use are called natural resources. Aha! Uh -huh. Finally, in the third sentence, we find our main idea. This is our main idea. Things that come from nature that we use are called natural resources. This passage is about natural resources. Instead of starting off with that idea, we start off with examples of natural resources. Trees and water. Trees and water are examples of natural resources because they come from nature. So sometimes reading passages will do that. They'll start with an example and build up to the main idea. And then we have our main idea here. Let's continue. Trees and metal are important natural resources we use every day. So it's kind of repeating itself here, uh, right? We saw trees, we saw trees again over here. We get this a little bit of repetition. Maybe not such great writing, but yeah, that's, that's what we've got here. Maybe it would be better if we use some other example, but that's the way that this reading passage is. So, but we do have a new example here, metal. Metal are important natural resources that we use every day. Another example, paper. 
furniture and houses are made from trees. So when we have trees, we have more classification or more detail about trees, right? From trees we get paper, from trees we get furniture, and from trees we get houses. These three, whoops, these three things here are made from trees, okay? Paper, furniture, houses are made from trees. Metal is used to make machines. So we're starting with trees, we give examples of what is made from trees, and metal, we have an example of what is made from metal. Lots of different types of machines, cars, trains, engines, are made from metal. Okay, we have another example here. We go to, we use oil to heat homes. Okay, so in each case we can see what the natural resource is and then what it's used for. Here we have oil, why is it used? To heat homes. Oil can also be made, I'm just putting also, but oil can be made into gasoline. And people use gasoline to drive their cars. Okay, so we have a little few sentences about oil. Oil is another natural resource. We use it in a variety of ways. One, to heat our homes, and two, to make into gasoline, which in turn is used to drive our cars. We need oil to make gasoline, to put in our cars so that we can drive. We should try to save natural resources. Of course, we should be careful about our use of natural resources. If we reduce, reduce the amount uh, decrease the amount of resources we use, uh, they will last longer. That's what I was talking about before. If we don't use as much, if we don't waste, our natural resources will last longer. We will have them for a longer time. We won't waste them. We won't use them up too fast. So it's important that we are not greedy about our use of natural resources. Reusing our resources means there will be less trash. That's an important thing too, because with less trash, that means more land can be clean. If we have a lot of trash, we have to put it somewhere. We have to put it in the land. We don't want to waste the land because that's in another natural resource. So reusing our resources means there will be less trash. That's another important R. Also, uh, so we can reuse the glass and plastic bottles that come from the supermarket. We can reuse these things. In other words, we can use them for other things or we can uh, recycle them, right? We can also recycle the plastic to make new products. So the difference between reuse and recycle, reuse is something you do yourself, right? If you use a glass a bottle for one purpose, well maybe you can use it for another purpose. That's reusing. If you use the glass bottle to keep your milk in, after you've emptied all the milk out, wash it, use it again as a vase to grow a plant from. That's how you can reuse. Recycle is when you give it back to the factory, they melt it down and they make new glass bottles or different types of glass bottles from that product, that's recycle. That's the main difference between reuse and recycle, okay? We can also recycle the plastic to make new products, not just plastic, of course we can recycle glass, metal, plastic, uh, those types of things, and paper of course as well. Okay, our reading skill is main detail and main idea, sorry, main idea and details. Remember our main idea, I circled that in the reading passage, it's the third sentence, things that come from nature that we use are natural resources. That's our main idea. The details that support this idea, we can find three main details in this chart. Of course, in the details we have blanks, we need to use these words to fill in the blanks. The words are oil, trees, metal, and reduce. So let's take a look. Paper, furniture, and houses are made from what? Remember in the reading passage, we saw at the very, the fir very first part of the uh, reading passage, we saw that they were talking about two main things. They repeated one thing twice, remember? What was that thing? It was trees. Paper, furniture, and houses are made from trees. We saw that example. And then we see beep is used to make machines. So we saw trees was one of those things, and then we saw another natural resource that we mentioned that was used to make machines. Remember, it's found in nature, it's hard and it's shiny. Of course, it is metal. 
metal is used to make machines. In our next detail, we use beep to heat homes and drive cars. So further on in the reading passage, we saw another type of natural resource that we get from the ground. We use it to heat our homes, to make our homes warm. We also use it to make it, we turn it into gasoline. We put that gasoline into our cars. But gasoline is made from what? Gasoline is made from oil. And oil is also used to heat our homes. Next. We should try to save natural resources. Very important. We can beep, reuse, recycle, and recycle them. So we have, remember this, three R's. We have two of them here, reuse and recycle. Where is our third R? If we look down here, we can see it very quickly, reduce. So we can reduce, reuse, and recycle them. These are the three R's, right, that we can do with natural resources. It's very important that we save and we do not waste our natural resources. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Okay. Let's go over reading comprehension questions. Our first one here, trees and beep are important natural resources. Trees and what? And remember, they're natural resources, things that we find in nature. Do we find plastic in nature? If you, go out in, if you go out in a new area that's very difficult, of course, where no human being has ever been before, and you dig in the ground, can you find plastic? No, plastic doesn't occur naturally in nature. <laughs> I hope that, you know, you, you go to a park or you go to the mountains, I hope you don't find plastic laying around, because that's not natural. That's somebody's trash, right? So it's not natural. Gasoline, is gasoline natural? No, it's not natural. Uh, oil is natural. We use oil to make gasoline. But what is natural? Natural is, we find in nature, we find metal in nature. We can find gold, we can find copper, silver. Those types of metals we can find in nature. They are important nat natural resources. Okay, number two. We can reuse beep bottles. Okay, we can reuse what kind of bottles? We can reuse paper and gasoline bottles. Have you ever seen a paper, a, a paper bottle? A paper bottle, you pour something in, it just, it doesn't hold it. A gasoline bottle, that's crazy. Gasoline is not a bottle, it's a liquid, right? It cannot hold itself, right? So that's very silly. B, we can reuse metal and oil bottles. Well, oil is a liquid too. That doesn't make sense. We can't make bottles out of oil. Glass and plastic bottles. Oh, that's the most common type of bottles, right? Bottles are made from glass. Bottles are also made from plastic. We talked about that. Glass bottles are nice. They're heavy, a little bit heavier, and they keep things colder if we want to refrigerate them. Plastic isn't so good for refrigeration, but plastic doesn't break. So glass and plastic are very common for materials we use to make bottles with. So it, it's C. We can reuse glass and plastic bottles. And yes, we can reuse them. We can use them again and again. Okay, number three. What is gasoline made from? Gasoline is made from something. We know that. We talked about that several times. What is it used for? So we're looking for two things in the answer. We're looking for two true things in the answer. Not just one true thing, but two true things. A. It is made from oil, that's true. It is used in cars, that's true. So A is our correct answer. Let's look at B and C. It is made from paper, no, that's not true. And it is used in books, no, gasoline is not used in books. <laughs> Do not put gasoline in your books, it will smell, it's not good for your skin, and if somebody is smoking nearby, it will catch on fire, right? <laughs> so very dangerous, don't do that. Okay, so B is obviously not right. It is made from metal, no, gasoline is not made from metal and is used in furniture. No, gasoline is not used in furniture. So that's incorrect. Okay, A is the correct answer. Gasoline is made from oil and it is used in cars. True and true. Okay, that's A. Number four, if we reduce, reuse, and recycle, if we use the three R's, if we practice the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, what will happen? What's the result? A. We will use more natural resources. We'll use more of them. No, that's the whole, that's missing the point. That's the opposite of what we want. We want to use less natural resources if we do these three things. So that's not true. B, our natural resources will last longer. So if we use less natural resources, 
obviously there will be more natural resources that we can use later. So our natural resources will last longer. That is true. See, for practice, we will not be able to drive our cars. No, you can reduce, reuse, and recycle and still drive your car. That doesn't make sense. That is not the correct answer. So in this case, B is the correct answer. If we reduce, we recycle, we reuse, our natural resources will last a longer time. We'll have more natural resources for a longer time in the future. And that's very important, obviously. We don't want to waste our natural resources. We don't want to run out of our natural resources. Okay, let's take a look at our chart that we looked at before, right? We have natural resources. What are they? What are these? These are hard, shiny, uh, this is hard, shiny material. We can use it to make uh, nails. What material is this? Of course, it is metal. We need this resource every day for drinking. You should drink several glasses of this every day. Uh, it's very important for our bodies. It's also important to grow plants and crops our food, and it's important that we keep it clean. We find it in lakes and rivers. What is it? It is water. Over here, of course, uh, you can't really see it, right? It's invisible, but we breathe it every day. And when it moves as wind, it blows the seeds of um, certain plants around. And of course, we call that air. It's air. We use it all the time, unless you're holding your breath, then you're not using it, but you have to use it eventually. You can't hold your breath forever. Don't try, okay? But you can't hold your breath forever. We need air to live. Okay, the next one, we get this from the sun, right? It makes our, our days very light and bright. Okay, of course, it is sun light. Okay, over here, we talked about this a little bit. We saw a video of the machine, uh, the oil pump that is pumping oil out from the ground, right? I just said what it is. It's oil. Oil is used, of course, to make plastic. It's also used to make gasoline that we put in our cars and we drive. It's also used to heat our homes. And finally here, we have this nice, beautiful uh, uh, thing that we find in nature. If you see many of them together, we call it a forest. Of course, we're talking about a tree. And trees are used to make wood, right? Wood is in the trunk of the tree, and we use wood to make furniture, to make homes. We use it to make paper, and we use it to make toys and all sorts of other things. So wood is very useful, natural resource. So we were talking about 14, lesson 14, our resources. As you can see, there are many types of natural resources. There are more than just on this chart, but there are many natural resources that are shown in this chart. And remember, when we talk about natural resources, these are things that come from nature that we use, but it's very important how we use these things. Remember, there's not an unlimited supply of trees or oil uh, or actually metal. And we have to be careful about how we use water, air, no, not really sunlight, sunlight's always gonna be there, but air and water, we have to be careful about how we use these things. Remember, reuse, recycle, reduce. The three R's are very important in uh, saving our natural resources. So what? So they will last longer. We will have them around for a much longer time. Imagine if we ran out of these things, if we didn't have these things anymore. Our lives would be horrible, terrible. We need these things. We need them to last a long, long time. So reduce, reuse, recycle. Though it's very important. Okay, well, I hope you've learned a lot in this lesson. We'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody.